The 1911 Keban earthquake, or Chan Keman earthquake, struck Russian Turkestan on 3 January. Registering at a 7.7 magnitude, it killed 452 people, destroyed more than 770 buildings, which was almost all of the city in Almaty, Kazakhstan, and resulted in 125 miles (201 kilometers) of surface faulting in the valleys of Chan Keman, Chilik, and Chan Aksu. Topic: <laughs> Damage. Most of the region's inhabitants lived in yurts, which are relatively resistant to earthquakes and unlikely to cause deaths even if they do collapse. The greatest damage and most of the casualties resulted from landslides triggered by the earthquake, with 452 people killed and another 740 people injured. Nearly 1,100 houses and 4,545 yurts were destroyed by the earthquake and the resulting landslides. Tectonic setting The Tian Shan Mountains form part of the broad zone of deformation associated with the continuing collision between the Indian Plate and the Eurasian Plate. In the region around Isak Kul, the tectonic regime is a combination of thrusting and sinistral strike slip. The lake is formed in a ramp basin bounded to both north and south by opposite verging thrust faults, while the major Chan Keman Chilik strike slip fault runs along the linear valleys to the north. Characteristics In the Chong Kemen and Chilek valleys, and on the shoreline of Isak Kul, a complex zone of surface rupture was identified by fieldwork immediately following the earthquake. Two main zones of rupture were noted, one complex zone along the Chon Kemen and Chilek valleys, the other along the Chon Aksu valley. <laughs> Chon Kemen Chilek rupture zone This complex zone of ruptures has four main segments, the 20 km long DZHIL Arik, the 62 km long Lower Chan Kemen, South Side, the 40 km long Lower Chan Kemen, North Side and the 66 km long Upper Chan Kemen Chilik Zone. The DZHIL Arik segment shows evidence of reverse faulting on a south dipping fault plane, with no clear evidence of lateral movement. The sense of displacement along the rest of the near vertical Chan Kemen and Chilik rupture zone was dominantly of sinistral left lateral strike slip with minor amounts of reverse faulting, with between 1 and 3 meters of vertical displacement. Left lateral displacements of up to 40 meters recognized from the offset of river channels, represent cumulative displacements and no separate estimates have been obtained for the 1911 event. Chan Aksu Aksu rupture zone This zone has two parts, the 40 km long Chan Aksu segment and the 34 km long Aksu segment. Along the Chan Aksu valley the movement was dominantly reverse in type along a 60 degrees north dipping reverse fault, with up to 10.5 m vertical displacement and at most 1 m horizontal displacement, from the lack of observed offset of river thalwegs. The outcrop pattern of the Aksu segment rupture indicates a low angle thrust, possibly steepening with depth, with a maximum vertical offset or 3 to 5 m, decreasing steadily to the east. In total about 200 km of fault surfaces ruptured, although there was no visible faulting joining the two main rupture zones. <inaudible> <inaudible> landslides Many landslides and rock avalanches were triggered by the earthquake and are associated with the mapped zones of surface rupture. The two largest landslides were the Kindy Rock Avalanche and the Ananevo Rockslide. The Kindy landslide, with a volume of 15 by 106 cubic meters, was formed of a mass of limestone that buried a group of yurts and killed 38 people. 
The Ananevo rockslide also had a volume of about 15 by 106 cubic meters, and was formed of weathered granitic material, with a 250 meters high backscarp that is still visible. See also List of earthquakes in 1911